So all right, we're starting here a bit differently from how I normally start these, is that I was given this Cortec KTN-2001 19-inch monitor. Not the whole monitor, just the chassis, I'm sorry. Uh, I was, this was given to me as a, uh, a donation because the it was just making a horrible screeching noise. So when I first got it, I did a full inspection. I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, out of the norm, except this capacitor right here was in backwards. That cap was in backwards. The negative side you see is to the left. Well, it was in backwards. And as you can see, maybe not. Yeah, this cap was in there backwards and it was bulging. And I'm like, oh, well, there's the problem. So I replaced the cap. I didn't really do any testing. I just kind of, I was like, oh, that has to be it. So, you know, whenever I get chassis, I just do a full, complete visual inspection. It's always important to check solder joints, check components, check for bulging caps. Everything passed on the visual inspection except for that one cap right there, which was in backwards and it's bulging and it's definitely bad. I did not do any testing other than that. I just went ahead and replaced that cap and turned it on. And I had the same horrible screeching noise. So I then began doing my testing. I tested the voltage regulator. I tested a couple of uh, solder joints that looked bad and everything checked okay. When I got to the HOT, HOT shorted. So I replaced the HOT. After replacing the HOT in that cap, I turn it on and now look what happens. <laughs> Hold on to your butts here, watch this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the flyback is bad, which probably took out the HOT. So uh, I have confidence that if I just replace the flyback, that will get this up and, oh man, that stinks. Wow. Whew. I definitely don't want to turn that on again. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Oh, that's, oh, I got to turn my fan on. Whew. That's bad. Oh, geez. I wish you could be here. Oh, God. Whew. Uh, Anyway, so I actually do have one of these. I have a donor chassis. I have one of these laying around that uh, has a bunch of parts that have been pilfered. You know, I, I'm friends with the, a local operator well, uh, who used to be a local operator who years ago had all this stuff. And then uh, everything kind of went south and he doesn't do it anymore. Uh, so he actually has a, a bunch of stuff like this laying around that he says, here, take it, here, take it. So I'm able to have a, couple, a bunch of these chassis. That's where I get all my parts chassis from is uh, over the years, my uh, buddy says, here, take this, take that. So I've got one of these laying around and I'll take the flyback off of it and hopefully it's good. And then I'll replace this and we'll see if that gets the problem up and going. <laughs> or I'm sorry, if that makes the problem go away and if we can get this up and going because uh, before it was just making a horrible screeching noise and that was because the HOT was shorted. After replacing the HOT and getting a good circuit back in here, uh, the flyback uh, began doing the arcing here. So I'm confident that the flyback being bad is what took out the HOT. So let's go ahead and just get this changed out and see if that makes it work again. Okay, new flyback is installed off of our donor chassis. Here is the old arcing one. We had the bad flyback that took out the HOT and then someone tried to do a cap kit that uh, didn't work out so well to fix it, not knowing what was wrong with it. And they put a cap in backwards, so we had a bad uh, backwards cap and a bad HOT caused by the arcing flyback. So new flybacks installed, or replacement flybacks installed. And now, if we turn it on, one, two, three, comes to life. And it works. But, <laughs> I say but, we don't have any red. Uh, let me turn this light out real quick so we can actually see what's going on here. Yeah, we don't have the CMOS invalid missing the red. And if we go to uh, here, it presents, and then there should be, oh, this is all should be red, and Super High Impact should be red in there. So we're missing red. And I have already checked it out. I know what the problem is. Let me turn this off. Somebody has gone through here and done a bunch of rework to the neck. And they broke the solder pad, the joint, on the red tab here. The uh, R, this R tab right there. The uh, joint is broken off the trace. Um, I should have it on the overhead cam, but, but basically uh, if you take this neck board off of the tube 
uh, and you wiggle this around with the the meter there's no continuity between this pad right there with the R and right there so this whole trace here is open because the pad is busted off the trace for the R right there for red so I need to fix that and then we should get our red back hopefully so let me do that and we'll see how that turns out so using the fiberglass pin I was able to scrape away and get that fixed but it turns out that there was actually about three different joints that needed repaired there was the R uh, where did you did I rub it away no the R is right there because we got the R fixed we had to fix this one right there next to G1. We had to fix uh, this one there for the H. That was bad. And I had to reflow the G2 connection right there. So basically this all needs cleaned up still. But whoever was in here before really kind of butchered this. So let's see if we gain our red back now. Let's turn our light back off. And one, two, three. Okay, comes back on. Let's kill our fans. So... Hey, I can already tell. I think we're good. Give this a minute to test here. All right. <clears throat> Cross our fingers and... Yes, there's our red hot dog. We do have a bit of shadow here from the green. I wonder if we just need to make an adjustment for that. Let's grab our brightness here and see if we can... Oh, brightness is all the way down? Wow, okay. Contrast? Uh, hmm. Well, let's turn brightness down, contrast down, and let's turn our flyback down a bit. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this and see. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Uh, Brightness needs to be roughly there. Contrast. It helps a little bit. Hmm. I'll have to go through and I haven't gone through and done a reflow or I may just redo the cap kit, redo all the work to this because it needs it. And let's just see how this looks here. Let's hit the button and there's our red. Okay, actually. Well, yeah, it's probably a bit too bright is what's causing that. But that looks great. Nice and crisp and focused. We got all our colors and it's working. So, okay, just a quick video here on this. I, I didn't want to, I have a lot of videos that go into the hour long range. So I wanted to do a little quick one here for, for once. Uh, so uh, to review, uh, we had a Cortec KTN-1000, I'm sorry, KTN-2001 that had, that was making a horrible screeching noise. And we had, it was caused by a shorted HOT that was caused by a bad flyback and we had a backwards cap that someone did a cap kit on this trying to fix the problem not knowing what to do what they were doing and then we had a bunch of bad solder joints on the next board and otherwise yeah it's running great now so I will do the full cap kit and the full reflow and better a little better inspection make sure it's good to go and then we'll call this one fixed now I in the previous video I mentioned this FJL series uh, HOT and how beefy it is and how much better it is and how it's pretty much compatible with almost everything and sure enough I put that FJL 6920 in there and it is running and working perfectly oops sorry so that FJL 6920 it's not a universal replacement but for for any modern chassis it works pretty well the 7000 U2000 U5000 7400 7500 even this uh, KTN 2001 uh, what else did I recently use it in? Um, it works in the Henrex Polo. It's it's a great replacement for a lot of these chassis. And here's another example of the FJL 6920 working great in a Cortec monitor. So, yeah, uh, I'll get all the work this fixed up and worked and cleaned and everything, and I'll add it to the collection. Um, yep, and then I'll keep working on my <laughs> I keep this in my spares pile for parts. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Nice, quick, easy fix, and stay tuned for more.